Hi, I'm Alex, a product designer here at KiwiCo, and today I'm super excited to be building our Christmas candle carousel. And that is called this in German. And now I'm gonna go see if somebody can tell me, how do I pronounce this? How do you say this? Pyramid. Is it English? Way ha pyramid? Why not 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 pyramid? Who else speaks another language? What do you think it means? The science of finding pyramid. It's giving pyramid energy. Maybe a nose pyramid. I, I think it's re definitely related to Egypt. Something that has to do with boats. It's actually Christmas pyramid. I would never guess that. It actually means Christmas pyramid. So it's close. Very close, very close. <laughs> hey, Becky. Hello. So you worked on this. Yes. So you can tell me, how do I say this? Vinox pyramida. Sounded good to me. Do you know what it means? Yes. So it's a two part word. The mm -hmm. first part, Vinox, means Christmas in German. Okay. And then take a wild guess what the second part means. Pyramid? Yes. Sweet. So Christmas pyramid. Mm -hmm. What's a Christmas pyramid? So at KiwiCo, we call ours the Christmas candle carousel. Mm -hmm. But in Germany, you'd see these Vinox pyramids like sort of in people's homes and cute oh. like window displays, okay, stuff like neat. that. Just like spinning around, adding good cheer and vibes yeah. wherever they are. How did you learn about them? So I was at a friend's house and I saw one on their mantle. Mm -hmm. um, I of course had to go over to investigate. Classic Becky. <laughs> I was looking for like the motor or a spring or like is it wind up? Cause it was just as nice, like even consistent spinning. And I thought that looked so lovely. Yeah, it was very so nice. mesmerizing. Yeah, so I had to go look at it a little bit closer. And then I realized actually the only propulsion method was these candles on the side. I thought the candles were for vibes at first, but they're oh, actually, wow. yeah, they're actually powering this whole thing. That's so cool. Yeah. The, the little bit of heated air comes off these flames and yeah. wants to rise because mm -hmm. hot air always wants to go up. Yeah. But these fan blades are in the way. Mm -hmm. But because they're tilted, when the hot air comes oh. up, it's got a, it, the fan moves to the side so the air can get by. That is so, so neat. And I love your little guys going around. The holiday spirit. Extremely whimsical. Extremely whimsical. I would really like one for me. Oh. You think you could help me put one together? I think I could. Sweet, thank Great. you. <laughs> Okay, the first step is peeling off the sticky tape from the brown foam and line up the foam with the shapes here. There's a tiny green bowl that goes on the other side. And then I need my arches. Okay, and then I get my little reindeer ones. Pop this on. I need these black squares. One goes right there. Yeah, the tree arch gets some too. Now I need my fasteners. Now I take my tree arch and I just screw these together. And do the other side. Okay, and then I'm going to stack this with the foam facing on the inside, like a nice little Christmas sandwich. And screw everything together. And the perfect Christmas sandwich would probably be Thanksgiving leftovers. <laughs> I want my beautiful reindeers in the front. And so now I just kind of push this in. Oh, I love this part. I love when things just snug fit together. This isn't going anywhere. Now I'm gonna use these two wooden pieces, flip this over, and then it looks like they just perfectly squeeze onto here. Ah, oh, very nice. Now the base is done. And now I get to decorate the Christmas tree. Okay, so you have to put some candy canes on because every year we would buy candy canes for our Christmas tree and then eat them before we could put them on the tree, so. That's adorable. Now I have to be able to, <laughs> look at that. Yes. I made it. Actually successfully get the candy canes on the it. Christmas tree. Yeah. It is the best part of Christmas though. So now I'm going to peel off that backing and this wooden circle, I just put it on the foam. Oh, and then I get to add my beautifully decorated tree. So cute. Great, and then now I get to bring my base back. I add my Christmas tree to the base. Just sort of loop it under, and I just make sure that it's sitting in that little green bowl. Very important. Yeah, oh, and it spins so nice. Okay, and then 
I take this tiny wooden piece and it just pops in right here. Yeah, okay, so the foam kind of curves over it. Just make sure it's tapped all the way down. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's nice and sturdy. Okay, now I go around and just make sure all these are nice and tight. If you're spinning it and it looks a little wonky, just make sure that this disc is nice and level. And this is, you can push this down a little bit to help level it off. Do another spin, better. Now I get to decorate these cute little guys. All right, I think we'll start with Frosty. Let's give him a little, a little snowshoe. <laughs> so cute, nice and cozy. Oh, and then it could be a tuxedo pink one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Adorable. My ensemble is all dressed and ready to go. I get to add them to the party. So Frosty, we got Spice, we got Mr. Penguino and my present. It's so cute. All right, we just have this little black plastic piece and this just squishes in with the foam. Now I press this into that hole. There we go. Beautiful. I've got four plastic containers for four candles and they just slide right in. Okay, and now for the best part. Becky, can you be my grown-up assistant? I can. Thank you. Pro tip, now is a great time to make sure that everything is in working order and the fan blades are all level and, and evenly spaced so you don't have to reach over the candle flames in a few moments. Definitely have a grown-up do this part. Wow. Oh my gosh, it works. Go. Oh my gosh, it really works. Whoever decorated these little guys did such did a good an, job. Did an amazing job. So what'd you think of the build? It was actually really fun. Oh, good, like, good, good, good. I loved up here, it sort of just like snaps together. I love yeah. when things just fit together perfectly and this had a lot of those moments. Hashtag satisfying. Yes, also, I totally get what you mean about this needing to have absolutely no friction. And yeah. like I can see that all that's like most of the engineering in here is optimized so that it's basically just floating so it can perpetually yeah. spin. We did a pretty good very, job. Very, very funny. Yes, you know, it was hard, but right. it's incredible. The best part is the stickers and like getting to decorate my little friends. Actually, this guy. Oh, oh. What are you gonna, are you gonna give this gingerbread man? He does need like a little something. He does. Do, do. He's gotta get ready for his holiday soiree. Oh, I mean, yeah. look at him dancing out here. There Three things you can try at home to make sure to get it spinning again mm -hmm. are make sure it's on a level surface, mm -hmm. nice and flat. Okay. Make sure all four of your candles are lit and have a nice strong flame that's sticking straight up and not sputtering or anything. That, that way you know the heat's coming up. Mm -hmm. And then the third thing is add a little dot of oil right at the two spots where it meets something else to reduce the friction. Right. So you can actually like pick it up a little bit and put a little on, on the shaft and that will make the shaft's been a little bit easier. Ooh. And you can also go down here. So you just do like a little teeny tiny drop of oil and then make sure you're sitting your little guy back in there. Uh, make sure it's in the thing and it should start spinning. Okay, yeah. cool, easy enough. I can't wait to put this in my house. What else could you make with flames? I mean, your whole like science explanation totally reminded me of a hot air balloon because it's just a flying yeah, yeah. flame it's just powered object. Hot air. <laughs> our friend Rocky is actually trying to build one right now. That's crazy. Inspired by our Christmas candle carousel. Is that what all that stuff in the parking lot was? <laughs> yeah. Incredible. So fun. If you want to see if he's able to do it, check out our channel. Wow. See you later. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Becky, how do you say it? <laughs> you say it Vinox Pyramida, but it's actually upside down. <laughs> do you actually want to go build one? Yeah, let's do it. Can I keep it? No. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> Subscribe to our channel. I'm gonna do it. Do again. I need to be here? Should I? <laughs> <laughs> Moose! What is this magical Vinox Pyramida? <laughs> how does it work? Do my eyes forsake me? Wow. I don't see a motor. Very hard. Oh, yes. This is a real drop that you can really have. <laughs>